Hey, sports car fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. I'm sure most of you have heard by now, but just in case you haven't, Wade Boggs took to social media about 10 days ago on X, formerly Twitter, and announced that he is battling prostate cancer. Obviously, it was a shock for me to hear, as well as the members of the Boggs Trust and all his fans, but he has a great support system of family and friends that I know are going to help him get through this process here to hopefully become cancer free. Uh, so I'm keeping Wade in my thoughts and prayers. And I hope you uh, keep Wade in your thoughts and prayers as well for a speedy recovery. Not knowing a whole lot about prostate cancer, I've heard about it obviously, uh, but I did some research on it and found that nearly one in eight men will develop prostate cancer at some point in their life. Uh, it's more common the older that you get. Uh, in fact, I, I think it's the most common for men aged 65 and older, and Wade just fits into that uh, age group. I think family history and some other factors play a part in it as well. But in terms of the survival rate, um, what was nice to, to see is that the five-year survival rate is nearly 100%, and the 10-year survival rate is around 98%, uh, if I believe if it's caught early, and I think in this case, uh, Wade and his doctors caught this uh, early. What's interesting is that Wade Boggs was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2005. The other member of the class of 2005 is Ryan Sandberg, and earlier this year, I believe in January, he announced that he was diagnosed with a form of prostate cancer, and I believe in May, he made an announcement that he is cancer-free. So really happy to hear that about Ryan Sandberg, and hope to hear that about Wade Boggs as well. He is bound to determined, as he said, to ring that bell, uh, signifying that he has beaten cancer. So again, if you could keep Wade in your thoughts and prayers, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Um, I do want to show some cards off here. So I, I just went through my card catalog here in the back and I picked out a few Wade Boggs cards that, that uh, I like uh, to show off. And I have a special random act of kindness from Stephen with a PH up in Canada. Uh, he reached out to me, he sent me a text a couple weeks ago now, and showed me a picture of this Wade Boggs card that was graded, and he said, hey, do you have this card? And I said, yeah, I, I have this card, but I don't have a copy graded. And he said, well, you do now, I'm going to send it to you, give me your address. I guess he was at a, a small little card show up in Canada, saw this card, thought of me, it was fairly inexpensive, uh, but uh, thought it would uh, suit my collection, and it does uh, perfectly. I love the card. So, Stephen, thank you very much. I'm going to show that card off as well. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and uh, show off a few Wade Boggs cards in my collection and the gift from Stephen with a PH. All right, I'm going to start off with uh, some of the, the Wade Boggs cards in, in my collection, ones that I haven't shown off in uh, some time. The first one here is from 2005 Absolute Memorabilia, Team 6. Uh, this is a, a memorabilia card here, a game used jersey of David Ortiz, Roger Clemens, game used bat piece of Nomar Garcia Pera, and then on the back. We have game used bat pieces of Wade Boggs, Ricky Henderson, and Jason Veritek. They're really cool. You got four Hall of Famers. Actually, three Hall of Famers should be Hall of Famer. But uh, three Hall of Famers and three other great baseball players. This one's serial numbered out of 150. These are. They're not hard to come by, but when you do see them show up on eBay, especially the ones that have uh, game use memorabilia, there are other versions that are just the base card with these players. Uh, but even though it's serial numbered out of 150, um, some of these go for people ask uh, crazy amounts for them. Uh, they don't show up on eBay that often. Uh, I have a good number 
of them. There are lots of different parallels, different players, different teams uh, with uh, Wade Boggs on them. Uh, but uh, yeah, just thought this was a cool card to show off. I'll put that one right there. The next one here is from 2020 Topps Museum Collection. So this is a quad uh, game used piece card. You got one piece of a game used bat and three game used jersey pieces. Just like the overall design of that. Love uh, the image that Topps used here. That follow through batting swing there. This one's serial number to 10. Really like the design of this. So we'll put this one over here for now. And then this one is from 2007 Upper Deck Premier. This is the Premier Patches. I think this is the gold version. You can see the foil here is in gold. Uh, there's some silver versions as well. He has, uh, I think, two Red Sox versions and one, I, I want to say, with the Devil Rays or something. Um, there's in total, I think there's like five or six different versions here. This one's serial numbered out of 20, yeah, 26. I thought it was 25, but 26. Just a cool uh, game use patch piece card here. Three different patch pieces from the Red Sox. There's the back of the card. So there's that one. We'll stick this one right here for now. And this next one is from 2020. Allen and Ginter this is a, a mini relic card. So I love how these mini relics, they, they put them in this very ornate frame and then have the mini card sort of floating uh, inside some acetate there. But if you notice, I'm not going to pull it out here, but if you notice that outside part there, the card itself, uh, you can actually feel the piece of the bat uh, but some of it is is protected there. But just a little mini card within a, a larger card. And just love the artist drawing there of Wade Boggs. I don't think this is serial numbered. No, it doesn't look like it. No. But just I just love the overall look uh, of that card. So we'll place this one here. Move that here. So there we go. All right. The next one is also from 20 and 2020 Allen and Ginter, but this one is uh, the mini silk. I don't know if you can tell here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And again, there's a, a little opening there so you can feel the, the, the silk, but it's a, just a little cut piece of silk. You can see at the top here, it's not really perfectly cut straight, although it uh, looks like the rest of it is, uh, but they left the, the top of it sort of. You know, not quite perfectly cut, but it's just a the piece of silk with Boggs's picture on it, and it is serial numbered. Uh, where is it here? There we go at the bottom out of ten. So it's so with the Devil Rays. It'd be really cool if he was with the Red Sox, but uh, yeah, just an otherwise cool looking card. So we'll put that one away and put this one in its place. The next one is also from 2005 Absolute Memorabilia, Tools of the Trade. So we have a um, patch piece of a Devil Rays uniform, game use bat piece, and a sticker autograph. Uh, these Tools of the Trade are very popular with uh, collectors, a lot of Hall of Famers in this Tools of the Trade uh, set. Actually, it's a it's an insert set from the main absolute memorabilia. But uh, um, anyway, this one is serial number two ten. So cool patch piece from a double raised uniform, sort of multi multi color there. Um, and it's a sticker autograph, which was wish it was on card autograph, but still, um, it. What's nice about these tools of the trade is the sticker is fairly large. So it, it allows, at least for Wade Boggs, to, to have more of a, a fuller uh, autograph. Because uh, his, and you'll see a couple examples here, uh, he really likes to accentuate the D and B uh, in his uh, signature there. And sometimes with these small stickers, it just looks really scrunched and um, not as, as nice. But that's a, that's a nice one there. All right, we'll replace this one here. 
And the next one is from, uh, where is it here? Where's the year 2022 tops five star. I think this is the base or yes, yeah, not a parallel version. This is the base version here, but as you can see, this is an on card autograph and how he just loves to just, you know, be nice and bold with that signature there. And he can do that with on card autographs. A really cool five star autograph there of Boggs. So we'll take this one here and set this one up. All right, the next one is from 2020 Top Sterling. And what's cool about this is obviously there's a game used bat piece and jersey piece on card autograph almost going off the top of the card there, but just staying on. But you may not be able to pick it up here, but the card is pretty thick. And this inlay here, there's like actually a couple layers to it. Uh, you may not be able to tell here, but there's one layer and then there's another lower layer and then it goes into the game used uh, pieces there. This is out of 25. Just an overall, just cool looking design here. Uh, there's the back of it. So there's that one. Just a couple more here. This one, hopefully this will show up here in, uh, on camera. This is from uh, Topps Pantamerous Penmanship from 2020 Topps. And it's a clear, there we go, yeah, you can see it. It's uh, acetate there in between the card and it's an on-card autograph. So it's a sort of like a multi-layer card that's see-through. This is the gold version out of five. I also have the green out of, I wanna say it's out of 15, I think, 10 or 15. Um, but this is the gold version. And as you can see, if you flip it around, you see the uh, just the opposite image there of bogs not sure quite what that is i don't think that's supposed to be anything just the backdrop oh yeah th as you can see there it looks like in the back there it looks like maybe in batting cage or uh just in the uh you can see the infield in the back i think but yeah just a really cool design with that multi-layer effect and of course it's a on card autograph so since this is a Horizontal card, we'll replace that one, put that there. Then this one is from 2016 Tops Tribute. It's a Devil Rays one, but it is, uh, what's this listed? It has uh, Rightful Recognition. You can see it at the top there. It's sort of hard to, there, Rightful Recognition. This is the red uh, parallel out of five on card autograph. Just like the shine of it, the overall design of it. There's an orange version, and I think there's just a quote-unquote base version. So I think there's there's three versions of each one, and then he also has a Red Sox version. So uh, there's six in total. I have all six of them. Um, but just, I don't know, really nice image there of Boggs on card, autograph, a little bit thicker um, pen that they used, which really makes it nice and pronounced there. Um, and this one here, uh, if you notice with some of his autographs, maybe that one a little bit there, uh, you can see maybe not so much on the Sterling, uh, but when he takes his time uh, to do the his signature, you almost make out the E. Uh, a lot of his, if they're, if they're rushed or if he has a lot of signatures to do, uh, you mainly only see the W, A, and D in Wade, but this one here has a little bit of the E and then that nice bold bogs there. So, really nice one there. And then the last one, you gotta, if you're a Red Sox fan, you gotta love this one. This one is from 2021 Tops triple threads this is the gold version triple game use piece game use bat of ted williams game use jersey of Corey stremsky and a game use bat of wade boggs so it's this is serial number nine out of nine this is the gold version 
wow, just three, arguably the some of the, the three best um, Red Sox players of all time. I know Wade, unfortunately, didn't spend his entire career with the Red Sox. So, you know, there may be some other players that uh, maybe for longevity or whatever, they, they'd place uh, in third spot in terms of all-time great Red Sox players. But uh, I always count Wade as among the... The, the greatest Red Sox ever. And of course, you can't deny Ted Williams and Corey Stremski on that list. So back is pretty simple, but just, ugh, I just love this card. Love it. All right, uh, we'll place it here because again, this is a horizontal card. All right, on to the gift from Steven with APH. Again, this is a, it's a, a tops base card. Uh, but there's a little twist to it, which which makes it perfect uh, from coming from Stephen being up in Canada. It's the 1988 Opeachy version of the, the Wade Boggs card. Not the tops, but down there's the, the Opeachy version produced up in Canada. So this is perfect uh, that Stephen was able to find this when he's from Canada. Uh, gave this to me so Stephen again thank you so much a PSA 9 copy um, back you'll be able to see um, yep so you can see it's in uh, French down there at the bottom in addition to English and I think here Opichi printed in Canada so and Opichi there as well so yeah, of course I had uh, I think just maybe one one or two ungraded copies of this card, but to have it uh, now a graded copy in a PSA nine of this card, knowing that it came from Stephen, uh, just a special addition to my Wade Boggs collection. So again, Stephen, thank you so much for thinking of me, uh, seeing this at that card show, uh, thinking that I would uh, lo love to have it in my collection, and I do so. Uh, there you go. Again, continue to keep Wade Boggs in your thoughts and prayers as he battles cancer. Uh, I know he's going to come uh, through this, but obviously he's going to have to uh, deal with the treatments and stuff to uh, in order to become uh, cancer-free. And we'd love to know what you think of some of these Wade Boggs cards uh, that I showed off and this amazing, great gift from Stephen with a PH from up in Canada. And with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.